you have to use data you need to be data driven blogging is not a business of emotion you need to understand the keyword so if you go on the performance i went from 3,000 clicks to 15,000 clicks that's definitely an increase what i want you to do is to scroll down the queries and pages so if you compare for example instagram hacked account six months ago i was not getting zero clicks now 469 clicks hey, how's it going i'm going to show you exactly how to drive traffic to your site organically by using simple tricks that i have talked about but a lot of people don't apply you look at this post I make community posts sometime where I ask people questions about areas they're struggling with so I can make a video about it. So if you have a problem or an area you want me to cover, you can just email me at freeentrepreneurs at gmail.com and I'll be able to make a video about it if it's a topic that is relevant and that covers the topics that I cover. So I ask what is one area most of you bloggers struggle with and then two people reply and two of them said traffic, traffic. Now I want you to look at this, how the traffic on one of my site kept going for a few months. This is about October to now January. And then look at how it was increasing toward the end of the year. Look at how I when we got toward 2021, it just started skyrocketing and I predicted this was going to happen. And right now I'm actually around the top position for most of those keywords that I'm ranking. And it's due to one simple thing. The results are in. Adding date next to your titles and adding dates to your headings and also at the beginning of your blog post meaning updating your old blog post to fit 2021 if you look at this list of keywords for which i am ranking for you will see that most of the keywords now that people are searching for for which i am driving traffic Look at these clicks and impression. Most of them have 2021 right there, meaning people are searching for those keywords and putting 2021 because they want updated information. And therefore, Google is putting my blog post in front. Let me show you a concrete example. And I'm going to show you exactly as well how to actually find keywords like this one for which Google is ranking you for when people are searching for keywords, but then that you're not optimizing on your site. And I'm going to show you how to optimize those keywords in such a way that it will drive even more traffic. But let me show you something. If you go on Google and you search, for example, best woman hairstyle. If you scroll down, what are the blog posts that are at the first page of Google? haircut idea and haircut trends for 2021 best hairstyle for women 2021 30 blog posts blah 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 2021 and i did not put 2021 in the title here meaning that google is actually taking the blog posts that are updated with 2021 in the title because we just got into 2021 and putting that in the first page now if i click on those blog posts let me open two of these blog posts or three of them so you actually see what's happening you will see that most of these blog posts were written a long time ago but they are just updated every single year to fit the calendar of the new year this is what i keep talking about updating your old blog post the one mistake that a lot of people do they keep pouring out new content new content new content and then it takes a lot of time to rank on google and what happens is that when it actually even start ranking on google we get into the new year and they don't go and update it if i go for example and, and i type high paying affiliate program the 2021 that comes here it means that there are people that are searching for it and putting the keyword 2021 because they want the updated information 105 best affiliate program of 2021 this is the exact thing that i keep talking about 
Meaning people, you need to go right now and update your blog post with new paragraph, new content. Remove your title, the, the old date on your title 2020 and put 2021. You will see an increase, but there is a very specific way to do that. Let me not waste your time. How do you find those keywords for which you're ranking for? You need to start using Google Search Console. This is very important. Google Search Console will actually provide you analytics, deep analytics about your site. And so when you go on Google Search Console and you select your site, for example, here, the MMS experience, I got hit here by a Google algorithm and then it start going back up now. But what I want you to do is to come here on the last three months. And then uh, first of all, when you're on Google, this is where you will end. You will end when you open Google Search Console. This is where you will end. Now, I want you to come here on the performance. On the performance, you scroll down on the queries. You will see that this is a list of keywords for which people are searching for and Google is ranking you for. If I take this example, recover Instagram account, I wrote a blog post about it and Google is ranking me for it. Um, entrepreneurship article, Instagram hacked account fill form. What it's telling me because I in my blog post, I have not put that specific keyword Instagram hacked account fill form. So what I can do is that I can easily go back on my blog post. I want you to look at the keyword for which you're ranking, look at the traffic. Take one keyword for which you're ranking for, but then that you have not targeted. You go on Google, you search for it. If I search for that keyword, you see now I am at the seventh position, meaning for that keyword, Google is ranking me. If I scroll down, where am I? Let me find my post. You see, this is where I am. I am at the second page. This is the second page. And if you scroll down, you will actually see my page right there. 213 best entrepreneur quote. I did not even target the keyword business quote. I targeted entrepreneur quote, but it ranked me for business quote. So what I can do in actually in order to rank on the first page is actually to open the first post and see exactly you see again, people are updating their blog posts, even Inc magazine, they are putting their blog posts and putting 2021 there. 2021, 2021, people write blog posts with date. That is what drive traffic. And then they update that each year. What I want you to do is that I want you to open each of those blog posts, maybe the first 10 in the first page. Okay. And then look at exactly how they are writing their blog posts. Of course, some of them will rank on the first page because they have authority. But then I want you to look at exactly how they are writing their blog post. You see, this article was smart. January 1st, 2021, this is the, they put a quote. Saturday, January 2nd, 2021, they put a quote. Sunday, they put a quote and they did that for 2021. And then probably in February, they will update. So what you can do, what I can do with my blog post is actually create now new section where I actually put all those quotes for the third, the 31 days of 2021, just like these people did. And I promise you, I will see an increase in my ranking. Let me do that. But before I do that, actually, let me go on the second page and actually see what they did. They created specific images with quote in order to rank. You see, this is actually something that I did not do. And I think it's smart. You can also create specific image quote and then put them on your site. I am going to create a little, a few more images like that and update my, my site. And I am also going to put date like this one. Let me do that and show you the result. And since I'm creating quote, I can also create pictures just like you see here by using a platform called quozio.com where I can simply enter a quote. And then, so you enter a quote here and then you enter the author, you click on create my quote 
and guess what it will create a quote exactly like you see here and then you can change for example like different I don't know you have so many design that you can choose from there are so many platform that you can create code just like that in a matter of seconds you can post on Instagram you can post on your blog you can post on other social media Pinterest I like this one so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click and then I'm going to I created another now section here daily motivational quote for January 2021 just like I saw on that other page on the first uh, page of Google and then you will see that I put a new quote for each of the day until January 31st and I can actually innovate by adding new images just like here for example for January 4th I can come down here and then add the image that I just created for the quote I just upload that right there and then I get the title paste that as an alt text and then I import guess what you have now a quote with an image again Google loves media Google loves images people also love images so you can do that for example 31 time for each of those days this is a this is a trick that I'm actually showing you for free so I'll appreciate if you can smash the like button and subscribe but let's keep going And you will see that the keyword for which I started ranking for 2021, I actually added that as a as an H2 title, created a new section with it with new quote. And then you will see that I added new pictures because if you go now under daily motivation for 2021, January 2021, you will realize that I actually started creating images for some of the quote as you can see now it's more pleasing in the eyes of google and in the eyes of the reader at the bottom i added also internal links that they can visit so they don't leave my site on the tags as well i added new keywords to fit 2021 so that when google comes back and actually scans this post it understand that i have updated that with new and better content and that it is actually better than what you see, what it sees on the first page. So you will see that I will move from the second page to the first page, and then I will be higher than this one, higher than this one, and up and up and up. Now, this is what I keep telling you. You have to use data. You need to be data driven. Blogging is not a business of emotion. You need to understand the keyword. So if you go on the performance, so if you go on the performance, what I want you to do, if you look at the six month, it's increasing. But what I want you to do is come here under date and you click on compare because on the filter, you can simply get the statistics for the last seven days, the last three months, the last six months. But then if you go on compare, that will allow you to actually compare the keywords and the page ranking over time. And so if you click here, you, you click on apply, you compare the, the first these three months to the last six months. And then you will see that you, I went from 3000 clicks to 15,000 clicks, 221,000 impression to 840,000 impression. So that's definitely an increase and same with the average click through rate and same with the ranking now what i want you to do is to scroll down the queries and pages queries you will realize that there is a comparison between the number of clicks you're getting uh the last six months with the six months before for each of the keywords for which you're ranking so if you compare for example instagram hacked account six months ago i was not getting zero clicks now 469 clicks same with uh entrepreneurship article about entrepreneurship you realize that i went from 180 to 520 so you do that if you're seeing a decrease instead so for example if this one was 300 went down to like 100 it means that you're losing traffic for that keyword meaning that you need to update your content and you do that for the keyword, but you also come on the pages that will allow you to compare the pages, how they are ranking Instagram recovery. 
Six months ago, I was getting one click and then now I'm getting 1700 clicks from Google because I did something very specific. I kept updating my content. Same for the entrepreneurship quote, the article that I just updated. I went from 182 clicks to 800. And after I, after I update this article, just like you saw, you will realize that it will go from 800 to like 2000 to like uh, 3000 clicks. And so this is the power of using data to actually improve your, your business. That is what I want you to start using Google Search Console because it will actually pull out all those data and help you make the best decision for business. And so after you're done updated all your, your content, you hit an update, you let Google do its magic. It will keep updating your content, putting that up and up and up and you will realize that you have more clicks and as people visit your site they will visit other site other pages on your site and you'll be able to convert on those visitors so that's what i wanted to show you if you think that was helpful please smash the like button subscribe as always take good care of yourself peace and don't forget to smash like and subscribe thank you